This is the new Dell HDR monitor, 32 inches, 1000 nits, 2000, the world's first 2000 mini LED back suns. And we're super excited, aren't we? Yes. The UP3221QB. This monitor actually doesn't even go on sale for another three or four days. So this is going to be an exclusive look. Yeah, that is. Again, the Dell Ultra Sharp 32 inch HDR Premier Color. So I'm just going to come around the top here. Good job, that's it. Rip it, rip it, rip it. It's like Christmas. There we go. There you can see the box in all its glory. And there's some instructions here. It says lay it down flat. So here we go. And I'm going to spin it around so you can see what I'm doing. Here we go. Aaron, right, let's open it up and see what we've got inside. Oh my God! Wow! Do you have the uh, we've got instructions. We always read the instructions later. Oh, actually, this is very cool. This is a calibration report from the factory. So this is a pre calibrated oh my monitor. God. And what I love about this is it's not only pre calibrated, it comes with the colorimeter probe built into the monitor and the Kalman software. So you're ready to go to do your own calibration without any further purchases. Okay, in the first box, what have we got, Aaron? Oh, that. We've got a little bit of trim here. This will be to hide the cables at the back. What about this, the cable? What about this? We've got an American power cable. Don't need that one. We've got, oh, Thunderbolt. So another really cool feature about this monitor is it's not just Thunderbolt, but it has a Thunderbolt loop through. So you can connect two monitors via Thunderbolt using just one connection. So active Thunderbolt cable, we like that one. In here, we've got some more video cables. This one is USB-C to USB. That'll be for the hub. This one is HDMI. That'll be an HDMI 2 cable, so we can do HDR. And display port, display port. So a complete set of connections and they supply it with cables. So the we like that. Step. In there. Oh, what's in this one? Let's open it up. This feels like it might be. Oh, very important. So this is the monitor hood. So these monitors come with oh very cool. I like that. It's got a nice, it's got a really nice finish on it. This is a clip-on hood to keep out stray light, which is going to maximize the HDR effect. So we will put that on later. Let's put that down here. How are we doing, Aaron? What's the next box? Good. We got some more boxes here. What about this one? Let's do this one. Next. Oh my, that's good. Okay. What is this, Aaron? Whoa! Feel that? It's heavy. Whoa! I'm strong. Oh, you're strong. Okay. This is. A very heavy stand. It's got a really nice solid feel about it. Yeah. It's like a solid lump of metal. Oh. That's a serious chunk of metal that is. So we'll put that down there. We're going to need that in a second. It's going to be the, there we go, this is the main stand. So it'll be a standard base of stand. Oh, I got found these two cheese there. Now, here we go. Very nice. Okay, so there's the base amount at the back. Oh! Here is the column. And now, Aaron? Yeah? Can you help me take all this off? Oh, I can. Oh. Oh. There we go. So I'm going to lift that out. Aaron's going to pull the box away from me. And we'll just lie this flat. There's the... I think I need to put this on the floor. There's the monitor. Okay, so there's the display. I'm just going to open up the um, backdrop here. And just before I put the stand on, let's have a look at the ports underneath. I like this, it's got a nice tray underneath, so there's plenty of room for the cables to go in. I've got two HDMI ports, display port, I think this is an audio out port, and then the Thunderbolt port is charging. So it's a 90 watt Thunderbolt charging port. So if you plug into a laptop or something, it can charge up. And then there's a loop through, which supplies 15 watts of power. And then we've got USB cables, two USB ports there as well. Power, very minimalist in terms of controls. You've got this uh, thumbstick, which will drive the menu and a power plug. 
So this will just clip in. Obviously it's a standard base amount, so if you want to put it on a wall or a floating stand, you can do that. That just clicks in nicely. It's got a good solid clip to it, like it. And then we're going to need to put this big beast on there. Um, this is very nice, so I had screwdrivers and things ready, but you don't need it. It's all finger tight here. So we'll just put that on there, click it in, and tighten this up. I'll just in the box. Are you? In the box? That's the best bit, is it? The box. <laughs> and now we can look at this thing from the front. Unveiling arrow, one, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. up. There we go. Oh my God. There it is. This, this is a 32 inch display. And what I like about the 32 inch over the 27 inch displays is it's a full 3840, in other words, a UHD standard. So we're not going to have scaling when we're, when we're grading. Okay, let's reveal the screen underneath, Aaron. Ta-da! Very small edges around the frame. So if you're putting these together, There'll be minimal space between the screens. I like that, especially if you're doing the loop through and shiny. So next thing is to connect it all up and see what this baby can do. Okay, and you can see the second monitor. Well, you probably can't see it, but the second monitor is powering up there as well. So I'm just going to log in. What's really cool about this is when you power up the Dell, that automatically triggers the other monitor. So you power down the Dell, both monitors shut down. It's a really nice feature. There's a little joystick here at the back, so I'm just gonna call up the menu. And in here I can choose color space. And this is really nice. It has presets for DCI-P3, Rec. 709, and HDR10. And then, and a bunch of others, Adobe and, and sRGB. And then down here, there are three user settings where you can set it to whatever you like. So for user one, for example, I've um, set that one up to be uh, HDR with P3 color space. So now doing 2020, and you can see that peeking out on the upper grayscales there. And here's my cursor. It's really nice. Um, as I move it around, I'm not seeing a big glow. Sure, on these corners, that's where we're going to see it most, but the contrast is fantastic. It does calibrate in HDR, so that's a really nice touch. And then you've got this picture-in-picture -picture display. I've got the monitor rotated 90 degrees, and I've got it in AB mode, so it's acting like two monitors. I've put my Resolve desktop on one monitor and the scopes on another. That's, that works pretty well. You can change the color space between the two sections. So I could have HDR on top and 709 at the bottom. And you can switch resolution from the, uh, from the display preferences panel. Right, I just want to check my 709 calibration. And I'll say just validate this one target. But you can have it validate everything uh, whenever you want. So click that in there, say yes. And a little probe comes up down here. There we go, here comes the probe. You can see the probe down here and the circle that it's checking. And now it's gonna send some color patches, there we go. So, all in all, I'm very impressed. This is a great monitor. I'm Kevin Shaw, thanks for watching.